Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Musings of Maverick channel. This is your host Maverick and today we are going to be watching Dr. Stone episode 5. So last episode we left on a little bit of a cliffhanger and I say just a little bit because like come on. He, Senku is literally the titular character of this show right? How dead can he actually be? Obviously, it, there's going to be one of two scenarios playing out, right? Either he didn't actually die, like Tsukasa maybe deliberately missed him, or maybe he accidentally missed him, or, or something or the other, Senku just outsmarted him, or he's actually dead, but then fine, uh, there's a way to revive him, right? Now, I guess, I guess in retrospect, maybe I should have left this um, unspoiled. I guess I kind of talked a little bit too much about it last episode, but... Anyways, what I'm trying to get at is there's no way they're going to permanently kill off uh, a titular character five episodes into the series, right? Um, I don't think I've ever seen a... Well, I have seen some works... I have seen maybe one or two works that did this, but they had some other stuff planned out, um, which is obviously not the case here. But anyways, anyways, that's beside the point. We'll just get into that once we get into the episode. Uh, I do, the next uh, bits are a little bit interesting, but I do, like, I'm not entirely sure about the pacing, but I do hope that they maybe uh, finish the end of the first arc within this episode so that we can hurry up and get to the second main part, which really opens the world up of Dr. Stone. And that's where the fun really actually starts to begin. So, fingers crossed, and let's see what's in store. Alrighty, let's begin in three, two, one, play. Move it up. Starting from here. No, I can't. I won't. Okay, looks like they are gonna draw out this episode a little bit. Eh. See? What was supposed to happen there was Yuzuriya was supposed to, like, scream uh, during that point. And so the big oaf. <laughs> uh, I like this what if scenario actually. Ah, oh, it's nice that they adapt this part as well. Eh. Alright, let me skip this real quick. Stone World the beginning.
I might have to kill him as well. He actually doesn't want to kill any of them. No, which is the true decoy? Okay, that's this is a nice uh, naption because originally it was the narrator that was saying this. Of course, lots of pep. Um, as, as I was saying, the original line where, the original part where uh, actually the anime transformed it into their monologues, it was actually being narrated by the narrator in the manga. So the whole concept of why they were able to surprise Tsukasa was because Tsukasa you know, this is the stone. This is the Stone Age, right? Um, so, in his ideals, he believes that the men should be the hunter-gatherers, the warriors, right? And the women would be the ones who were being protected. Now, however, and what Yuzuriha was saying was, science levels the playing field, right? So Tsukasa didn't anticipate Yuzuriha. Um, actually doing anything that would uh, be a threat to him.
Have you guys noticed that she's still calling him Tsukasa-kun, right? Ah, it's this guy, it's Gin! Something he's been doing since the past four or five episodes. See, he did leave some hints. And now we get to the beginning. This dude. Yeah. 
Look at this guy. <laughs> Conscious for 3,700 years. And the first thing he does when he's <laughs> revived is start investigating. This dude. <laughs> they actually got people to completely voice act gorillas. <laughs> Holy crap. I like how even though he's supposed to be a stereotypical nerd, he's still, you know, completely buff and well balanced, right? Not too skinny or anything. He always does what he promises. So I've no doubt that eventually he'll get to space. Yeah, it's actually really hard. And there we go, stone tools. Shiny monkey acquired stone tools. Got rope. Oh, 
that they know cannot be changed. And so they don't have to put that in their hands and they have to stop it. And then I shoot the fire. Fire! Well, I wouldn't really say acquired fire, but all right. <laughs> yeah, you did better with traps, dude. And there we go. I actually forgot that he eventually used traps, but it's a logical conclusion to this. Who's the dum dum now? Yeah, you might also want to wake up first. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so that was episode 5. And right off the bat, I'm glad that they actually took the proper time to adapt the what-if scenario of if Tsukasa actually met Senku and the others at an earlier stage in life, right? And then we can see how it would have played out, how they would be a close-knit group of friends uh, who covers each other's backs, right? So that's the... You know, this is Tsukasa thinking it, right? So that means that he actually, deep down, you know, he wants to be a part uh, with them. It's just that due to circumstances, due to different principles, due to different beliefs, uh, they need to walk on different paths. And that is actually quite important, um, as I've been saying all along. The, the dy dynamic and the relationship between these characters is actually something to take notice of. And again, I liked how they sort of hinted at this as well with the way that um, Yuzuriha was actually calling uh, Tsukasa, right? She still calls him Tsukasa-kun, uh, which is more of an endearing way of calling him, even though he literally just killed Senku in front of her, right? Um, but yeah, uh, I did like that they took the time to adapt that part. Um, as for, you know, the part with Senku doing the revival and stuff, right, like, not really much to talk about there. Oh, and just for those of you who actually skipped through my reaction part, so again, during the part where, um, in the original manga, actually, the part where Tsukasa and Taiju and uh, Yuzuriha were having a sort of a face-off, uh, and where Taiju eventually, um, made a, you know, made a diversionary attack, if you will, to buy time. Um, well, actually, a diversion for a diversion in order for them to run away, right? So what happened there was, once again, uh, due to this being the Stone Age and whatnot, using Stone Age rules, so Tsukasa is more concerned with physical prowess, right? Physical strength. So in his mind, uh, Yuzuriha isn't really much of a threat. Now, however, because Yuzuriha is relying on the weapons of science, right level the playing field so she actually has tools at her disposal that she can use which is namely here the black powder right so she's the one in charge of um sprinkling the black powder and she's only able to do this because taiju paid no attention i mean not sorry not taiju because tsukasa paid no attention to her so that's what actually happened and this was all originally in the manga part of the 
uh, it was narrator that was actually talking about this. So they instead changed it into the character's inner monologue um, as a way of getting around that. So that was that. Um, beyond that, I guess the most, um, you know, we got half the episode dedicated to what happened with Senku when he first revived, right? And, you know, funny thing is, that was actually what my original expectation of this work was, the original manga. So, I'm a huge fan of watching, I guess, survival, bushcraft, um, that kind of videos and stuff, right? Um, you know, how to survive in the wilderness and whatnot. Um, and also, you know, there's this really popular category um, of YouTube videos nowadays, uh, perpetrated first by a channel called Primitive Technology, which shows you how to build lots of different stuff using just, you know, the technology of those times, right? Like, for instance, crafting stone tools by hand and gradually working your way up to, uh, you know, like how Senku did it, right? He made some uh, stone tools first and then like a stone axe so he could start chopping down wood and whatnot, and then he could start um, getting the stems and fibers out to braid them into ropes and so on and so forth, and having this gradual sense of progression, right? So originally I came into uh, reading Dr. Stone expecting something like that. I expected them to be in a survival situation, and then gradually progressing along, um, similar to how Senko progressed along within the later half of this episode, and eventually into building civilization. However, that did not actually happen. They went through a pretty wacky route, uh, with this whole science thing and and really accelerated a lot of the different stuff so i'll admit i'll admit my interest in this work did uh wane a little bit um at the beginning but later on once the the pace was sped up again and then they went more and more crazy with the stuff then it got me back again on board now that's not to say that it's the anime that i mean it's the manga that i was originally hoping for it's not i would still um I guess not even prefer, but I would have loved if they could have expanded more on this particular uh, chapter within the manga with Senku building these primitive uh, tools and whatnot, and maybe expanding that a little bit more. However, that's not the way that this series has chosen to go about things. It's going it in more of a over-the-top crazy kind of way. And that has its merits and charm as well, as evidenced by me still uh, viewing this manga and this anime as well, the manga in particular as one of the best mangas I've seen um, in recent years. Well, literally, it's been like what, like late ha late last year, something like that. So not that long ago, but yeah. Anyways, so um, again, judging by the pacing here, it seems that we're actually going to be wrapping up the first arc in the next episode which is also kind of a um a logical stopping point i would say episode six would be about one fourth of the way through the actual season of dr stone since this is a two core anime i believe which means that it's slated for 24 episodes which is actually going to take us pretty far into the story um but uh we could already know that if the any if there's any of you who actually read the manga as well you you would probably be able to see that uh just by the opening song and the characters that appear within it so yeah there we go not really that much else to talk about again if you do like to want to know a little bit more in regards to the you know the primitive tools that senku was building um you know how to build them their effectiveness and whatnot i do recommend you guys to check out some bushcraft videos or just check out primitive technology um his channel um i find it super um I, I love watching his videos, and he explains most of this stuff. Actually, I think everything that Senku built here, uh, the Primitive Technology channel actually did a video on. So, you guys can go check that out if this is something that interests you. So, anyways, that's my review for episode 5 of Dr. Stone. I will see you guys next week. Although, uh, uh, yeah, never mind. Okay, no, um, I'll see you guys next week at the same time. So, until then, bye-bye.